Hey people, what's going on y'all? So listen, y'all know I love to get y'all on the triple threats, okay? In work. All about cleansing, all about protection, and all about blessing. So I'm about to bless you with a ritual for protection. Because you know, I'm, uh, I'm big about protection y'all. You should be doing protection work like 75% of the time. All right. So this particular spell or ritual is using the Rose of Jericho. Let me show you what that is right quick. So let me just show you guys my Rose of Jericho. All right. This is my Rose of Jericho right here. Oh, that light, lighting is, uh, boy, sun kissed. Pay attention. <laughs> all right, hold on. So I placed mine here with all of my stuff, but that is my Rose of Jericho. I also have them readily available in my shop. And this is the Jericho flower that has wilted. This is it right here. Get towards the light. There we go. This is the Rose of Jericho. This is what it looks like. And it comes back every time. Now, there's other ways to use the Jericho flower other than protection. And you can also use it in love spells where you are seeking to bring to life love that has died. Um, bringing back that relationship that's kind of rocky. Yeah. Or you can create love where there was none before. You're looking for a new love interest. All of that. Come get you one. I got a couple available. Now let's get to uh, the um, Rose of Jericho protection ritual. Now let's get into it. So the Rose of Jericho protection. We're going to start off with the instructions. So on a full moon night. Full moon night, um, you're going to be in a sun hour. Make sure you just Google what a sun hour is. You're going to take a bowl of water and you're going to stir the water clockwise. It's going to look like I'm going counterclockwise, but go clockwise, y'all. Now, as the water runs, you're going to drop in some blessed salt into the bowl. When the water runs means after you've done it clockwise, it's going to be moving. That's running. Okay. And then you're going to also anoint yourself with any type of um, protection oil. Let me show you guys mine. So this is my protect all around me. Um, conjure oil. Yes, it's almost gone. The best part of ending the bottle of oil is the herbs in the bottom is the most powerful. So, yeah, you order a protection candle from me, you might get this last little bit of power, baby. But this is my oil, and it's available um, in the shop. Then you're going to anoint yourself with the protection oil, and you're going to then place the plant in the bowl of water. Every morning, you're going to dip your fingers in um, the water, and you're just going to say this particular incantation divine rose of jericho protect my health protect my strength place comfort and peace in my home and then you're going to end it with so shall it be blessed be ashe whatever you speak and then you're going to replenish the water as needed and it will flourish forever y'all forever you can also burn um, Harmony Incense in the home at least once a day. You're welcome. Bye, y'all.